Hey guys, and welcome back to another Dragon Ball Legends video. My name is D Free, and for today's video, just prior to the fifth year anniversary of DB Legends, we are going to be going ahead and doing an equipment guide. So for today's video, we are going to talk about how to get equipment and which equipment you should be focusing on, and we'll also conclude by talking about how to upgrade equipment and just general best practices when it comes to any of those three things. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video because this is going to be one that a lot of people have been asking for, especially as i've done these in the past but we have now a 2023 updated one here for you if you're looking for any updated 2023 versions of guides i have beginner guides or tips and things like that team building guides etc that you guys can check out via the link in the description when you get to said video so i hope that you guys enjoy like i said and without further ado let's get into it so just ignore my team here very uh <laughs> thrown together type team not anything serious just threw some characters on for dummy testing so there are a few ways you can do this next portion of what we're going to do but the first question is how do you get equips well they're going to be tied to events they're going to be tied to uh pvp stages for example if you come to events here and we were to come over to the upgrade stage there's actually equipment collection in which you can find equips based on a certain tag group so you can find them here and in various other sections they're always going to be there's always going to be one in pvp that you can get for that scene Season, and then when it's done it's exchangeable but another easier and more concise way to do this is to come over to your character screen hit the equip button in the bottom right corner and from here you can actually click the archive in the top right corner and whenever you want to find something you can actually just sort this menu out i have it currently sorted to fusion warrior and you can find an equip for a fusion warrior character if you want to and it'll show you all that's available to that specific tag and then from here you can click on any equip click the how to get button and it'll show you all the different places this one only has one option but all the different places you can exchange for and then from here obviously you can just exchange however many you want and go from there so that's the pretty easy way to do this and if as you see there's this super saiyan blue version of vegeto on here a couple of times um so that's basically equipment awakening what that is is where they enhance the equipment so you see some of them there's three uh, awoken versions they have a different border around them and what happens is they change the stat parameters or they give it different stats that they can buff so let's take a look at this it only has critical up to 12 percent blast defense and blast attack that's it again if you wanted to get this equipped it will give you an option now awakening is different it does require some different resources albeit not too much but some different resources but you see the stat spread is higher up to 15 up to 20 and up to 35 and they have chances to be other things key recovery and strike attack are now applied to this you can get those it depends what you it's just it's luck based what you roll uh we'll, we'll talk about equipment rolling in a second i guess but anyway when you are going to look for awakening equipment you can go ahead and find it here as well how to get you see it shows a memory item here so memories are required to awaken and equipment awakening is this middle button in the top and you can just kind of find whichever one you want it requires one of these and then it also requires as materials these items which again you can find these in exchange shops for ultra space time rush go to the exchange shop for that which is an entirely separate event uh but anyway you can get those and sometimes they're in other places too anyway you can if you have all the requirements which is an a rank version of this you would have had to have upgraded this to a rank and then you need four other b rank equips and you can do that and again if you're trying to do this and you're missing something the how to get button is here too so let's go ahead and just actually grab a few of these for ourselves we'll upgrade and we'll do a live equipment awakening and we'll go from there so let's go ahead and get out of here we'll do a live one so here's how the process goes for equipment awakening i'll upgrade a couple other things just so i have more fodder i guess we need to get an a rank all right one of these should go a at least that's pretty easy to do yeah only two of them did all right let's go to equipment awakening now we now have the entire criteria met we'll hit here and awaken and here we go so this is all that it's going to use and it's just four b ranks and one a rank very easy stuff and now what it gives you is critical so if i was looking for key recovery unfortunately there's no chance to change this there's no option to change this i don't know if they'll produce an item in the future that will allow you to change this but there's no awake no a way to change this right now so you would have to roll another one <laughs> you'd have to do it again and again until you get key recovery if that's what you were looking for as the ideal first roll which for the record in this equips just personally you should be looking for key recovery not critical so anyway that's just how this all works and that's equipment awakening now let's talk about equipping characters and which ones you should be giving them and then we'll also talk about towards the end stay tuned for 
how to get the best and strongest equips. Okay, so let's go over to my party formation. We're gonna click Gogeta. Now, a cool thing that they've done to streamline this process is they've added the recommended button here. And when you click that, it'll show you not only the recommended equips, but if you're looking for certain characters to use alongside them, if you're unsure, you can actually click this button. It'll show you some characters that people are using alongside him. Now, don't get it confused. They're not generally using these four characters in Gogeta and the three, the two Vegitos and Rosé that you see as well. What they're doing is they're using him on a God Key team with Rosé, or they're using him on Fusion Warrior with the two Fusions. But for the most part, they're showing you characters you use alongside these characters. Again, kind of wonky here, but they're putting this kid Boo in a leader slot, using him on different teams. That's why he's not really along. He could be on powerful opponent, but you need to learn more about team building philosophy. So if anything I'm saying to you is kind of confusing, you're not sure what I'm talking about. You're not sure why these characters are on the screen, because what correlation does Kid Boo even have with Gogeta Blue? <laughs> Seriously, check out the team building guide when you finish this. The link is down below where I explain all that stuff, right? So anyway, you can go to equips and uh, we'll go back to Gogeta. And it'll show you the equips here too. So these are the six most commonly used equips for the character we selected among other people that are playing the game. Very nice little feature here, I'll, I'll admit. Uh, this is something that they didn't have when I initially did a video like this, but it shows you the ones. And again, from here, if you want to find a certain one, that find item button, all trusty find item button is here again. So you can press it and then it'll show you what it does if you hit ability, of course, and then you can exchange for it here, upgrade it, and then equip it to your Gogeta if you want to do that. But again, these are the six most common ones people are using. Now, what equip should you even give Gogeta in the first place? Well, the most important thing to know is when it comes to characters, their battle type. Now, a couple other things are applied, like things you should know, like the color, things like that, things that they actually do, because regardless of battle type, they may do different things in their kit. But for the most part, the base minimum you need to know, the bare minimum is their type. And what is Gogeta's type? He's a melee type. You see that in the right corner there, melee type. So what does that mean? That means that his stat spread is skewing more towards doing strike attack instead of blast attack. It's not some crazy disparity, right? But you wanna to try to give him, if you're min-maxing this character, that means you should try to give him strike attack. I'm not here to tell you in particular what I, well, I am kinda of here to tell you what I think you should and shouldn't do. That's the point of a guide video. But I don't really feel bad or anything like that when people try to do the opposite. What people will oftentimes try to do is they will try to give a character like this a blast attack based equip to try to bring that blast attack up to a more respectable number to try to even it out with the strike attack when if you're trying to min max a character you should just take what they do best and just enhance it that's the way that i look at the game so do whatever you think is your best but for for the purpose of today's video i will keep with my own philosophy now Back in the day, before Power Creep got crazy, characters would have specific buffs. You'll see them sometimes in some kits, but it's more of an additive thing, right? They used to have strike only damage or whatever, blast only damage. Nowadays, characters get, as you see on the top line, just damage. And what does that include? Well, everything, right? It's not a specific stat, it's everything. So Gogeta can make use of any equip you really want to give him. But again, for the purpose of today's video, we're going to follow my philosophy, which is that you should be giving him the equips that are going to focus on that. Now, as you awaken equips, hey, look, here's the one we awoken earlier. You'll notice that some equips have different spreads, like we talked about. Like I said, um, in terms of what stat you should go for, in terms of crit rate versus key recovery, I'd go for key recovery. I'd also place very high value on HP. So you can get an equip that offers like HP and strike attack or key recovery, things like that, special move damage. Those are ones that I should be, you would really be looking for for a character like Gogeta because he is meant to be a damage dealer. We'll talk more about some of the other types like defense and support especially but the things we're talking about now with gogeta apply to any melee type in the game for the record and they also inversely would apply to ranged types where they're trying to look more towards blast based attack damage right so same exact deal for them anyway um so i wouldn't give this to him personally because it has blast attack on it and that's just not it for me Thankfully, I did roll another one that has strike attack on it. Now, this one doesn't have as high of a spread. I can improve that in a bit if I wanted to do that. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But yeah, I would personally give him this one. This one has ideal stat spread on it for everything. Slot one, two, three, everything that I want. Speaking of slot one, two, three, it doesn't matter what you what you put where. Like you, if you give your character three equips, they're getting all three of the slots if they're applicable, right? They're getting everything. Doesn't matter what you put it. It doesn't matter like, oh, this is in the third equipment slot, so he's only getting slot three. No, he's getting everything all the time. Don't get confused by that. All right. So that's just general philosophy when it comes to melees. 
Here's a ranged character, same deal. You want to give him blast-based stuff and go from there. Now, defense and support are a little bit more tricky because defense, uh, they defense and support typically have their stats normalized across, right? So it's up to you what you think your character does best, right? Could Boo skews more towards being a melee character, so I would give him um, more melee-based stuff if I'm looking to give him offensive equips, which you could definitely do. You may skew towards giving him more equips that offer HP. In fact, speaking of Kid Boo, let's see what people are recommended giving him. And these are the ones people are mostly using. Yeah, these ones all have a spread on them. So here's like an equip that was made for yellow Majin Buu Saga characters, I believe. Yeah, so here's Strike Defense. Health Restoration is a really good one. Strike Attack on there and Health. This is more or less the spread you should be looking for for Kid Buu. So a little bit of tankiness applied and then also just general damage. And also this equip here doing the same type of thing. It's offering a little bit to everything. So there are equips that just offer various things. But yeah, for defense types, I would focus on that. And same for supports. However, supports can sometimes be a little bit squishy. So you may want to give them some equips that are going to offer more to their defensive utility. Uh, and let's go ahead and actually show you guys kind of what I'm talking about. If you're not sure exactly about more defense based equips. Some, some equips are just not going to offer much in terms of uh, attack at all. They're maybe just going to have special move or ultimate damage and health or health restoration with defensive numbers, things like that, right? They're inversely going to be equips that don't have any defense but all offense. And there are going to be some like this one that I said was pretty solid because it's got two strike attack buffs and some health in it too. And also this one here, strike attack and health restoration. A lot of strike at uh, attack in there with some health restoration. Uh, criticals, whatever, but it is what it is. Uh, and the reason why some stats are not as good is just the way that the game calculates them. Just math, right? Now, occasionally you'll come across equips like this, where in the third slot, it's specifically saying plus 9% to strike attack when battle member melee type is a battle member. Battle style melee type is a battle member. So what this means is that if this character that you put this on has a melee type ally in the battle with them, they're going to get 9% to strike attack. Note, it does not say base strike attack. Again, math means that this is going to calculate to a higher number than base strike attack would. So it being 9% instead of like 30%, it just calculates a little bit differently. So general rule of thumb is if you were to build out a, a character, I would focus on having at least one equip like this that offers just a normal strike attack instead of base strike attack. That word base is incredibly important. It's an operative word. You want to have at least one equip that is just offering strike attack, right? If you're looking for a melee based character and you can go from there. There are going to be equips that also do the same thing for defense. There are going to be other conditions, right? Right here. Strike defense plus 16% of base strike defense plus 9.75% to strike defense, not base, for 15 counts when faced with the same. There's conditions on these. They're stronger. That's why there is the condition there. You should, if you're trying to build out a character a certain way, you really want to have at least one of those on there. So I've talked about building Gogeta, and let's just go ahead and pull up some equips I think that you should give him. And this is by this is also pretty subjective. I think when it comes to understanding which equips are best, it comes down to what you have and, and what you like and things like that. I talked about how some people like to give blast based stuff to melee characters, so on and so forth. But the recommended list is very, very, uh, very good resource. You should look at that. So we're going to give him these equips and we'll go from here. Uh, I'll give him this one. So look at what we have here. We have strike defense, strike defense, and then strike attack instead of, again, I talked about how the word base is operative. This is just calculating differently. In fact, if you want to know more about this, because I can't really explain it, I'm not the best at it. I'll leave a link in the description to something that explains how the pure attack is what we call it. Uh, the pure attack is handled in the game. So right here, we have base strike attack, double defenses, another base strike attack buff, and health. I really like this equip a lot. I like this one a lot for Gogeta. That's one of my favorite ones. And then here, we have double defense, special move, and a high strike attack as well. I love this loadout for Gogeta, if you will. Um, this works perfectly. We have the base requirement met. You don't want to completely forego base. You want to have some base there because this makes that base pop off even more. You wanna have a mixture, pure and base in any character, right? So that is what we're looking for. Now, that's generally it when it comes to equips is look at the recommended ones, look at what you like, look at what you have, and try to make sure you have at least one pure increasing equip on any character that you're building out, assuming that you have the criteria that you would need. And also, don't really do this, right? 
So this one has a really strong base attack increase. Well, this is actually a little different. This is blast damage. So there's, this is like, there's there's not very many inflicted damage type of slot upgrades. So this is really, really good here. Anyway, blast, like I said, Kid Buu kind of skews more towards melee despite being a defense type. So I personally wouldn't give him this, but if you were to give him that, you want to make sure you have blast attack increasing equips, whatever they are, right? Like, since I just want to throw that on just for today's video. You want to make sure you, you are following that trend, right? Some characters you can kind of mix and match. You can give them strike attack and blast attack, especially if they're in one equip. If there's an equip that has both attack stats, like uh, that Kid Buu or the Maju Buu one that we saw earlier, the Awoken one. Yeah, if they've got both, uh, I wouldn't sleep on those either. Now, typically, uh, if they have both, they're going to be at a way lower threshold but you can make two with those all right so we talked about how to get equips uh what equips you should give your characters i can't really go too much more in depth on that because it's on a per character basis but you got to use your own best judgment so next we're going to talk about equipment and just how to get the best ones now since we've already talked about how to get equips i don't have to redo that part but i do need to tell you that when it comes to every equip, there's a chance to get certain drops, right? If you've been playing for a while, you know. But these ranges here, they matter a lot. For example, slot one, 5 to 13% chance. That means that every equip you get will have a chance to be in that range. Well, it will for sure be in that range. But obviously, you're trying to get something closer to the maximum. <laughs> if you want to have the strongest equips possible, you are trying to make sure you get something closer to the maximum. And that applies to all the other slots, too. But there are tools in place to help you do those things. Now, right now, at the time of the recording, there's no way for you to change what you get on slot one. So it's very important that when you do how to get and you exchange and you start working on an equip, I'm going to exchange for 30. One of these should meet the criteria. But when you start working on an equip, you will see the different slots and different ranges that all of them have. It's very important that the one that you settle on, currently anyway, is one that has a really good first slot. Looks like I didn't get any of them. Wow, I didn't get a single one that had a good roll on it. So for me, I would sell all these and start over again if I was trying to min-max. So what does that mean? In the top corner where you see the equip, you see it says D and there's a green circle next to it. Well, that circle could be orange or it could be red. And the higher up the number is, that means that you are getting a higher uh, affinity bonus, basically. So you, that's not the right word, but you have a higher roll, basically, is what it is. So ideally, you want to avoid greens. Now, there are some greens. Like, I'm pretty sure I can upgrade this. And if my next couple of slots come back really high, I can wind up with a Z or Z plus because this first slot isn't too far off, right? But And there are even some green Cs. But for the most part, you want to start off with a C rank, which means it'll most likely wind up being either orange or gold and red you see these ones start off with that and here's a look at that it's 9.10 out of 10 right so that's how this is looking and that's why it's an orange roll here and as you upgrade they'll change obviously they'll have their own color per and ultimately when you have enough of those here's an example this one's predetermined to be uh triple red but when they're triple red even a couple of reds are going to turn back to zing z plus you can even get some z pluses that have one red and two oranges like this one here like it just as long as they're really close to the absolute peak that's what that means right as so, well how do you get that right so we've talked about how the first slot works you can't change the first slot right now you've got to just basically uh get the equips and then sell them as many times as you want until you're satisfied with the starting point for that equip but when you find one you want to keep you want to work on when you're finally done and you finally settle on one you can upgrade set equip we're going to use this for today's video and we're going to upgrade it and let's see what we get ah, i don't really love that you can actually click re-upgrade it'll come here it'll take you to this screen and you have two options you have the re-upgrade option and you have the secure upgrade option, right? Secure upgrade means you can use these resources to guarantee a stat increase and it'll show you what you're going to get uh, ultimately on the next screen where you can go ahead and just guarantee that. You can use those items and I'm not going to do this, but it's not a very big increase. I would generally not use this unless you are really, really close to pushing your equip to an orange or to a red and thus equipping, uh, pushing your equips overall rarity. To a higher level i wouldn't really do this too much 
you should just, again, re-upgrade normally and go from there. So here's the regular re-upgrade. It uses slot removers or coronal crystals. I wouldn't recommend using coronal crystals at all, unless you have a nice abundance, I guess. But it also uses Zenny. This process can be very intensive on Zenny, by the way. That's why I'm so low, it's because this process. But you have the option to stop on orange or on red. And thankfully, this is something that I had told them personally. I need this in the game, like for months. And they finally did it. Um, because it would be really annoying sometimes where it would just you know stop and start or wouldn't go all the way through things like that but you have to you have the chance to tell it where you want it to stop so for today's video we're looking at least for an orange officially it's called orange we're looking for an orange slot so we're going to re-upgrade enough times as many or as necessary excuse me and then when it hits there if it hits there out of the 19 tries it has it will personally stop on its own automatically and then from there we're going to do the same thing for the next slot and we will get the opportunity to have a Z or Z plus equip. So that's what we're doing for today's video. And I'm going to pause and exchange for some more Zenny <laughs> when I get the chance here. Before we proceed with that, I'm, I'm noticing that this slot has a very, very heavy weight on it. <clears throat> and what that means is that the rate of getting a higher roll than about 6.4, 6.5%, you see it's always, it's always right in that range. That means that the rate of doing that is very low. This is a, on a per equip basis where the rates on getting the equips up, typically if they've got two stats in one, it's very hard to get a high roll on that stat. So yeah, this went through and they I didn't see a single one even hit 7%. So yeah, the, some equips are gonna be heavily weighted. It's gonna be really hard to get them a uh, higher um, rarity. So it's on a per equip basis, right? It's not all the same. They're not all created equally. But this one didn't literally i went through all those and it didn't even get 20 percent. i will not be getting a z in this video because i only got 20 erasers i'm gonna exchange for a few more we'll be right back all right so i exchanged for some of that stuff and for the record this equip is not worth <laughs> not worth you pushing really hard on it this is too restricted it's just this is not a particularly good equip so don't really do this for this equip if you're gonna do this process make sure it's an actually valuable equip but for today's video I don't care. But for the record, this equip is really not worth the resources. Uh, you should just naturally get one of these because you can, You don't have to do this re-upgrade stuff. You can just get one and upgrade, 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 and then some of them will pop up as S's or Z's. And for the record, I don't think you, everybody should be striving for a Z anyway. I think you can make do with an S. In fact, many of the ones I use in my videos are S's. And the reason why is because they'll be like 0.3% off on a stat. And it's like, that's not from being a Z. That's the difference between S and Z is sometimes it's very, very minimal. And it's like, that's not worth my 30 Chrono Crystals just to flex harder, right? Or not 30 Chrono Crystals, but 30 Erasers, slot removers, so they just flex harder, basically. As you see, this is still struggling to go. That one was not bad. If I was serious about this equip, I would have stopped on that 7.6. And then from there, I could do it again. Stop on something like that. If you see an equip like this that's struggling to go up, stop there and then go back into the secure upgrade okay i'm gonna stop on this because i can't i can't i'll just show you eights is as good as i'm gonna get i can keep going all day and i'll probably get you know an actual natural one but this one is a prime example let's just secure upgrade because this is this one's like right on the fringe of becoming a gold slot on its own it's so close it might take two yeah it's gonna take like two but if i were to do it again it would do it right um, so those are the ones that, you know, if you really want to work on this equip, you could stop there because it only goes up to 10%. It's not like it's going to 30% we're stopping at 8. It only goes up to 10. So it's extremely close to the maximum. So, like, it's so close to the maximum that if I were to get a gold slot here, this should pop up to being a Z easily. Uh, unless I'm lucky. No, I'm not lucky. Let's re-upgrade this. Let's see what we get. This, th this equip is really janky, dude. Four, three percent increases for having certain members. This is just, it's not worth the trouble. But anyway, I'll, I'll be nice though. I think they're pure stat increases. Yeah, they are pure, like I mentioned, instead of the base. So I will give it a little bit of, a little bit of credit for that. But it's just not, this one, hold on. This one came back as an S and those numbers were probably just marginally higher. That initial roll I had was really close to being an S. 3.25, 3.3, 3.2. Look, go back to my original one. It was above three, wasn't it? Like those, that's the difference sometimes between these rarities. That's what I'm saying that like, I don't think it's worth it. So we'll see what we get here and then we'll conclude the video because it's been a longer video. And if you've made it through, I really do appreciate it. But yeah, general rule of thumb, like I said, just stop whenever you're comfortable with whatever equipment. See, 3.2, 3.1, extremely close. Um, 
And when it comes to what equips you should use, I'm going to just stop here and keep this. Um, when it comes to what equips you should use, just use ones that you like if they fit your playstyle. Some of them are going to be requiring certain teams or certain matchups, whatever. So maybe there's going to be a better time to use some of those in a certain situation. Um, but stick to the typing of the character. Give them at least one pure increase equip. Those are the ones that don't say the word base. And you'll be good. In terms of which stats to focus on, if you could, always try to include an HP one. Especially if you have lower HP characters. I don't really put too much credence in having HP and defense unless your team's kind of built towards that. However, I will tell you, some whales will run HP and defense on all their equips, on all their characters, and it makes for a, and they'll have HP Z abilities, and it makes for a very annoying, very tanky match. You could try to do the same, if, but if you're not a whale, you're not going to get the same results. You'll, you'll, you'll probably have good results, but you won't get the same results, right? Because the stats are going to be different. But offense, you can make do, because offense is far ahead of damage in this game in terms of the way that the game is scaling right now and the buffs characters are having. So focus on the offense for your characters, unless they're naturally a tanky character or a support character that you want to keep alive for a while, right? Keep that in mind, too. All right, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this updated 2023 equipment guide where we go over every single thing you need to know about equips. And if you enjoyed it, there are some more guides for you on the screen right now.